Innuendo 14, we introduce the new Adaptive Background Attenuation tool, otherwise known as ABA. Adaptive Background Attenuation is a mixing assistant that helps you maintain balanced levels of your background signals, ensuring your foreground signal is always clear and audible. You can use it during the pre-mixing stage or as a final check for your mix. In the ABA panel, we have the following settings. The attenuation profile, you can choose between voiceover or audio description, depending on your requirements. Clearance is the difference in dB that you wish to have between your foreground and background signals. The foreground signal is where you choose the audio that will serve as the foreground, your dialogue, for example. And here are the background signals. You can choose up to four background signals like music, sound effects, environmental noises, and so on. And these are the signals that will be attenuated. It's also worth noting that the choice of foreground and background signals are not limited to single tracks. They could be any of your groups or mix buses, for example. So let's see adaptive background attenuation in action. Here we have a dialogue track that's been split into segments and below it, we have some traffic noise. Let's have a listen. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. The traffic noise is quite intrusive on the dialogue. So we can use the ABA tool to help us deal with the noisy atmosphere track. Let's use the audio description profile for this. And I've set the clearance to 11 dB. You can adjust this number to give you more or less clearance if required. We'll now select our foreground signal, which will be the voice. And we'll select the traffic as our background signal. Now we'll click Apply Volume Automation. And the result is an automation of the volume, which of course can easily be adjusted, just like any other automation. Now let's listen. Hello, can I help you? And now we can use the main clip fader to further adjust the volume. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Now let's reset that and try it with a different value. Let's set it to 16 dB. And as you can see, the amount of reduction has been increased. Let's have a listen. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. And once again, we can further adjust the volume using the clip fader, or indeed, adjust the automation itself. Now let's reset the levels and add some music as well. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. So as you can hear, the music and the sound effects are quite intrusive. So let's bring up ABA and see what we can do. We'll leave the clearance at 16 dB and we've still got our foreground signal selected. We've also still got the traffic signal selected as one of the background signals. Now we'll add the music as a second background signal. And finally, we'll apply the volume automation. Now let's have a listen. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. And once again, the overall volume can be adjusted using clip gain or automation or any other method that you choose. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. Adaptive background attenuation harnesses the same advanced technology found in the MPEG-H package. And for those who have experienced and are pleased with the results of ABA, it's highly recommended to explore the MPEG-H feature innuendo. And that concludes our introduction to adaptive background attenuation in Uendo 14. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.